What do we got here? What? What do you have here? It's a so-called feature browser. So if that browser can uh, browse features, dynamic behavior of features in the software system. Right? So in that case, I have a test case, a test class that has several test methods. And then these test methods get invoked at runtime. And with that browser here, I can then view and then display the running of these features what they look like at runtime. Okay. So this is, for instance, the test is locked method here. And the small boxes are methods that get invoked at runtime in that feature test is locked. And when they click on such a method, I can see how this method gets invoked in that feature. <coughs> so I see here the call tree. The root method is the test method itself, and this method calls this method here, and that method calls that method here. So it's with the whole core tree of that feature, you can see here in that case. And the coloring basically means that the blue method here is only used in this, this single feature here, and as the red method is used in all kinds of things in that row. So the coloring and can compare the features with each other, so if the two features are, have a similar coloring, you can guess that they are similarly implemented at one time. And this is in Squeak, right? This is done in Squeak, yes. Exactly. Okay. What, are you, what, what are you using for the graphics over there? That's done with Montreal. In what? Montreal. Okay. So this here and also that here is done in Montreal for Squeak. You can also view the source code of any method in that tree. So we can see what kind of methods are used in that feature. I can use the source code here. So all these kind of classes that are shown in that feature, in that browser, are used in that feature. So I don't, do not show what kind of methods or what kind of classes. Very cool. Yeah, I also uh, directly enriched the class browser.